hello everyone this video is here to help you with uh, batch clipping and uh, you can do that uh, with a model builder uh, which you can access once you enable it in standard tool set so uh, there you go so this one's a model builder and before uh, we make any a model in a model builder uh, let me add my data set so I have here a folder named demo these are the polygons with which I'll be clipping my data Sorry. and this is the root data set which I'll be clipping with all these polygons so let me add it once more okay uh, so these are the polygons these are the separate polygons and uh, with each of these polygons I need to clip my row data set and this one's my row data set now uh, there are two ways of doing this first I can do it uh, by manually using the clipping tool um, six times for each of these uh, different polygons and the next method is using a, a model builder uh, which is the diagrammatic representation of pattern itself and uh, you can use model builder uh, make a model in it and uh, once you uh, iterate once you make an iteration model you can uh, carry out uh, it automatically on it now uh, for that uh, we have here a iterator tool uh, under which there's feature class uh, before we carry out uh, iterate feature we need to have an idea about our data sets beforehand uh, it's not the road but the uh, polygon data sets that will be uh, iterating throughout this process and uh, the other um, uh, factor that we need to keep in mind is uh, that these uh, polygons or any other features that we would be iterating through needs to be under the single folder uh, which in our case is the country region this is the folder through which we need to undergo the iteration process um, so let's feed it into our iterate workspace and if in case there's any other subfolder that we need to undergo through under a single folder then we uh, check this recursive but since there is no other folder inside the control region um, we would not be checking this out okay <coughs> sorry now uh, next step is oh and the other thing that uh, uh, I'd like to explain is that um, this 1200.shp it is the first shape file which is under the folder contour reason that's why it's showing up here but uh, uh, no other uh, shape file would be showing up here only the first one uh, is shown up here now um, next is uh, uh, we need to clip the features so I'd be adding the clip tool uh, to the model builder uh, interface let's drag and drop it here okay now um, we need to connect these two and it asks if uh, it comes under input clip environment or precondition so 1200 is the file that would be used for clipping the road file so it comes under clip features <coughs> now uh, input feature uh, so that be our root shape file and uh, next up is output feature class so um, for six of these polygons on uh, clipping the road file we'd be getting six other output files and if we just assign here a single name uh, then what happens is um, when 1200 clips the road uh, first then uh, suppose I uh, 
assign the output feature class name as clipped root then the output would be the clipped root but again when uh, uh, the iterate feature is carried out and uh, 1240 clips the road then again the name is clipped road itself so the um, second one replaces the first so it goes on and on and at the end we'd only get uh, one last um, clipped road um, file which would uh, have replaced all other earlier files so that's that that uh, does not work like that here so what we can do uh, to overcome that problem is uh, we have here name under this oval structure which has a special job to do so what it does is uh, it uh, iterates the name of the output feature class itself and uh, we can do it uh, by so Road. So I have created an a uh, folder called clip road, and I can assign the name here, and I can do it by naming it percent name percent dot shp. So um uh this name here it extracts uh, the file name of uh, the save file that it is iterating through so for the um, if uh, the road is uh, being clipped by 1200 then the output would be 1200 itself so um, in order to avoid the confusion between the uh, clipping polygon and the clip file that we would eventually get I will just assign here road underscore percent name percent so our output file would be road underscore 1200 road underscore 1240 so for uh, so on and so forth so okay so our uh, model is almost complete now let's validate it and let's run it okay so let's check if it works So the files are already made here. Okay, this one's the 1200 road. It's only under 1200 polygon. Um, this one is extended to 1240. This one's to 1280. And uh, I guess it worked. This is the 1281. I guess this worked. Uh, further, there's one more thing to do. Um, this model can be reused um, uh, later uh, for uh, uh, clipping purpose. And it can also be um, um, it can also be put under the arc toolbox so that we can access it uh, like any other tools. Uh, for that, uh, let's save it first. And uh, it can only be saved under our toolbox. So first of all, we need to create a toolbox. Uh, I just gave it a default name, and let's call it Batch Clip. Okay, and I can, sorry, I can add it. So it's here and toolbox, under toolbox there's patch clip. Uh, we cannot directly access through double click uh, like other toolbox or other tools. Uh, we can go through edit and it's there now on changing uh, iterate features and clip we can carry out any number of clipping um, in a handy way so that is all for batch clip thank you